Hello beans, hello and welcome back to Ikidu Streams Create Above and Beyond! Woohoo! How you doing? Friday! Or Friday, as I like to call it. Friday! Ooh, hello. Inside the spider web. Hang on. There. How are you doing? I am doing good. I'm doing great, actually. I might be doing great. Because it's the weekend. Turn up. Rather like the weekend. Right. Let us quickly look down to the seaside. Because that's where all of our machines are. Hello, Skelly Bob. Oh my god, there's a lot of creepers over there. You can tell I've been in these caves, can't you? Because like all of them are spawning up here now. Look at that for creepers. Yeah, hi. Hmm. You can tell I've been in the caves a lot. Right, previously. Previously. Oh, you can stream crit above and beyond. We took all of this over here and turned it into the crystals here. And then we used this machine over here to make coke from our charcoal. I actually did, during the episodes, added a um, another tank over here so that I could siphon off this. Because if this gets full, the machine doesn't work. So I've been steadily hand cranking it out just as I as I need it, etc, etc. And we have some coal coke bitties now. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. We have some bitties, and that was what we needed, basically, is, is some coal coke. So if we... Hang on, chuck that back in there. Reload this guy. Oops. I can't just chuck it in there because then it stops the conveyor belt, which is a little bit annoying because I, I want it to, you know... But never mind. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so we have got the required component over here, the coke chunks, as well. So we, we're really kind of, we're steaming ahead, as it were. Steaming ahead. So, what does all of this mean? What does all of this mean, Nikki? Let's stand still and have a... Ooh, scoot. <laughs> Ice. Let's stand still and have a review. So, if we go over here to the book. As you all know, last episodes, last couple of episodes, we've been stuck in here. We're not really stuck in here. We've managed to get a bit done. Because over here, if we have a look at the uh, Into the Box Chapter 4... We've got the basalt, we've got the sand, we've got the wood. We haven't quite started this bit yet, but I can't imagine it'll be too difficult. We are here at the moment, so we've, we've got all of these three items now available to us. What we need to do is we need to squoosh it all together. And the idea is we're going to make silicone over here. That guy. Which can then be used to turn into circuits, which can then make the final item. Uh -huh, that's the aim. That's the aim! And then we can start making rockets and jet to the moon. Simple as that. So, we're here. We need to combine the purified sand, the coke chunks, and the fine sand from the, the, the process of making the purified sand into a silicon compound with the squishificator. Which is actually pretty easy. Yeah, actually pretty easy. We've, lot, we've done lots of squishificators before. We quite like squishificators. Uh, so, what I'm thinking, and you'll notice I, I did sacrifice that poor tree. Rip, rip. Um, what I'm thinking is, since we've got the collection going on over here, and the sand, and then over here we've got the uh, the, the, the crystal, it probably makes sense to have the squishificator in here somewhere. So let's have a quick think, because once we've squishificated it, we need to do other stuff to it. So I, let's have a look. So we need to put it into the induction smelter again. That's not too bad. So ice charge, silicon, I have no idea how you make that. Not a clue. Induction smelter. So we're not going to have to chuck it into a very big machine after that. It's going to be another box like that. Like that, over there. So I reckon we should be able to get that done quite easily. If we bring that down here, bring that one over here and bring this over here, we should, should be okay. So let's, uh, let's go grab some things and let's get on with that. Shouldn't take too long. So we're going to go from this box over here somewhere. So let's make a little tunnel. Hopefully not fall in it. Lovely. Right. So if we have it here, I feel like that's not going to take up too much space, is it? Cool. And probably won't kill us in the process. Nice. That's what we like. So if we say we put a, um, a spoochificator here... 
yeah, let's do that there. Press above it. So base in, press, job done. We're going to take a fluid pipe so that we can pipe in our sand. We'll need to have that twistificating out. So we need to replace one of these guys. Probably just pop it there for now until we find a better location. So that's one component getting in. Awesome. So now we need another component getting in. Three. What I might do is I might have another barrel here with just a small little um, conveyor belt there <coughs> to put in the final item. That makes a better sense, doesn't it? This will all make sense in about five seconds. Trust. Uh, there. Right, so conveyor line here. Uh, so. To here. Uh, so, there. To here. To then get in that get in that and then we're going to get out the item from this side so we probably need another conveyor belt or something here to get it out but that would work I reckon so let's belt it up dip to dip and then we're going to go over here dip to dip and then we're going to go on this one as well for good measure perfect uh, Mendo. right did it say we needed to have heat in this one probably not no heating required. Okay, well that's fine. We don't need heating. That's good. Right, I wonder if I can nab that. Because that's going the right way. Potentially. One and two. Oh, look at that. Well, that works. Beautiful. Right, pop a, pop a thingy on there which says spit out my coke chunks. It's going to stop here because it doesn't know what to do. But that's fine. If we bury a... Um, another water wheel in here I should reckon that'll do ya right um, now I can't get out nice genius Icky -doo -doo -doo, a genius Doo -doo -doo. except she's not because she manages to trap herself in little holes in the floor mm -hmm. beautiful right so if I pop it here this is probably gonna be the closest you're ever going to see a water wheel but uh, we don't need to step up, luckily, for a, for a, one of the smoochificators. It doesn't need to go fast. Although we all do like go faster stripes, so, you know. Mm. Right, water goes into the Vs, so it wants to go into that square. Lovely. And then we're going to slowly close that off. There we go. Uh, and we're going to sleep, because it's getting dark. I don't, want, I don't want a creeper to explode everything. No sirree. Right, there we go. Since they seem to be spawning a lot up here. <laughs> Don't want to blow up my thing. Right, another andesite funnel over here so that it will get onto that. Uh, we'll be popping the, this guy, this item up here into it for now. It will be hand bailed for the first couple of times because it's just easier. Simple, there we go. Right, we're going to take this guy that way. I wonder if that means that one's turning in the right it's turning in the right direction shut the barn door look at that beautiful ha ah, it's almost like i planned it i didn't it's almost almost like i planned it i didn't right and then if we uh, move that i wonder if that will oh look at that okay so we've got the coke chunks going in we've got the the other bits going in now we just need this going in and this powered. So, uh, what do we think? How do we think? I could try and take it from that, but I'm pretty sure that's overstressed already. So let's take it from here. Although then I'm not entirely sure how we get it up to that. Because we need to turn a corner first. Oh wait, hang on. This will work. Will this work? Wait, no. That might not work. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so I need a cog here, and then we need to bring it down one, other way around. Still not good, still not good. So, so nah. <laughs> Tra. Mm. why is it these never turn around the way I want them to? Huh? Huh? Come on, I can see it trying. There, ha <laughs> ha. Because then, okay, we just need to turn that round that way. So that that then does that. 
which then pipes, or should do, the sand in. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now we're getting sand in there. Okay, cool. Well, that's apparently working. Apparently working. Cool. Okay, so now we just need to get that smoochificator going. Uh, which actually we could just take from... Oh, goodness, I'm running out of space again. We could just take from that, right? Because it's only one over and then up. So let's go up, up, over, kajom. And then it'll go come down and it'll go smoochaboosh. And it'll make a oh, silicon compound. How about that? Wait, hang on. Although we haven't got anywhere for it to go yet, so panic or celebration is delayed for two seconds. Nobody panic. I've got this. Or, well, at least that's what I tell myself. One to two. And then if we take a... I wonder if we can use a box here. The answer is probably not. Because you never seem to be able to... Going the wrong way. Nice. Okay, wrong side. Uh, theoretically speaking, I could take it from that, or I could, no, because that would still turn it the wrong way, hmm, hmm, well, unless I did two, but then what would be the point? I could do that, hmm, no, because that would still not go the right way. Rubbish. Uh, oh, though, hang on a second, actually. I wonder if I can use that machine. This thingy here. In case chain drive. Have we got any of those? Because that would make my life a lot easier. Boing, boing. And then we will have done this in a grand total of I don't know, 10 minutes. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> right. Uh, chain. Chain drive. Gotcha. Oh, excuse me. Indigestion. I did inhale. <coughs> I did inhale the nuggets. So if I have a little bit of indigestion, that would be why. <laughs> I inhaled the nuggets. Okay. We had the nuggets for dinner and I inhaled them. Ta-da. I don't know if this is going to work because I feel like it needs to be connected, but I don't, well, we'll see. We'll see. It might not work. But as we already know by now, sometimes things don't work and sometimes, sometimes they do. Uh, yeah, that doesn't appear to work. Then am I connecting it the right way? That could maybe do a thing? I don't know. No, it's still going the wrong way. Helpful. Okay, so the chain drive doesn't do it. Fine. But that, and then... Ah, I've got an idea. That. Because that one might connect with that one. So it'll, it. So this one was going the wrong way, but then I put another one on but turned it the other way so that you've got no connection here. That worked. Ha! Awesome. And now we have the silicon compound. How about that? That was the easiest one we've ever done. Hey, job done. Right, okay, good night, guys. I'm joking. I'm joking. Right, over here. Over here. Let's come and stand over here with the things and the stuff and the dangerous lava flow. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, fine. Let's have a look. Up here. Silicon compound. The process of refining silicon requires a blend of sand, crystals, fine sand, and carbon catalyst. Done. Job done. Uh -huh. Now you'll see, this is the next step, final induction, which, as we already know because I looked earlier, we, we will chuck it into an induction smelter, but you'll also notice from the quest chains, now there is no yellow bar to say you go this way because we need to complete this bit here. This bit here might be interesting. I mean, all of it's interesting, to be fair, but this one might be interesting. So, new Invar technology makes forming snowballs out of water a quite simple process. Perhaps we should set aside a few for our next unannounced visitor. I, I don't know what it means. Hang on, hang on. This, this requires camera. Camera. I don't know what it means by unannounced visitor, but I can tell you it makes me very, very nervous. It sounds like we might be summoning blitzes. And I don't know how that's going to go. Mm -hmm. 
so we may still use this anyway and it has got a load of different recipes you can do with it and that's the one we're trying to do so the ball cast we're gonna need to make a ball cast so we need to make a nickel plate that I can do that I can do steady on chaps this is getting exciting now you see you see we're figuring it out picking up speed picking up speed so over here I am going to take a nickel plate real quick because I need to make one nickel plate so I've got a shape for it Sir Moosh thanking you and then we're going to take one of those and chuck it in and we're going to come up here to the cutificator and say I want a ball cast please because we need to make snow balls I suppose this is this is going to call operator cast something I don't know what these do integer operator operator ingot cast obviously ball cast integer I still don't know what those do and a rod cast fair enough ball cast ta -da! beautiful beautiful so then if we come back over here really quickly while well, we've got the involved processing because we do have a spare blast chiller we don't need to make one it's just kind of I would like to make one and if we pop that in there it won't work because it hasn't got a source of water hmm. Hmm. I mean, theoretically speaking we could just and then I don't know how many snowballs we need going to be the interesting one isn't it I mean I kind of wonder if it would be quicker just to make a snowman with it and then just dig it up with a spade in fact you could probably actually just attach it to a deployer and job done task complete though we sort of kind of have now got snowballs so over here the new gen tongue tied the new invar technology makes forming snowballs out of water quite a simple process perhaps we should set aside some time for our next unannounced visitor okay. yeah we done that so let's have a look at this oh god okay now let's have a look at this let's not stray away from this let's look at this the second alchemical laser wait for it screen what second chemical laser what okay right back to back to text let's read this again <laughs> the second alchemical laser forms activated blitz essence from the snowballs. This works only if a charged entropy manipulator is present alongside it in the hopper cart. Your automation strategy from Crown Traps and 32, which is the one that we use to transform the blats, the, 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 the basalt, not the blats, <laughs> I don't know where that went, will perform just as effective here. Which makes me think we can probably just use that because, I mean, that's not part of everything else right right so over here let's have a look so the second chemical laser forms a activated blitz essence from the snowballs blah 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 the uh so we need something in here the entropy manipulator which i'm assuming is this guy because this is kind of how this worked over here with the, the magnet so the entropy manipulator entropy charger so in order for the blitz essence to form the entropy really difficult to say that one the entropy manipulator present in the cart has to be charged ensure the charge is restored before it's next used i have no idea about oh okay how to charge okay a e hmm i wonder if that's going to work just as well as the magnet did hang on mag magnet redstone flux i don't know how you charge a e that'll be interesting how do you charge it? Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, it's doable, but God knows how you do it. Lead plates. We need some lead plates. I can do that. I have some lead. That's doable. Uh, and let's also, while we're here, chuck out some things in the inventory because, oh my God. Mess. Again. As always. And you, sir. We also need to make a flux crystal. Do we have any of those? Uh, looks like no. Right, cool. Squish my two lead in, get quickly sleep. And then we're going to figure out how to make a flux crystal again, because I can't remember how to make flux crystal. Fairly certain it's chuck something and something in water. And hope you the best. Flux. Oh, it's not the flux crystal. Um, oh my goodness, what it's called. 
<laughs> you. It's a flu X. I X. Not just flux. F U and F. Exceed pure fluid crystal, fluid crystal info. Aha, uh -huh. okay, here we go. So, drop one charged certus quartz in one nether quartz and redstone dust into a puddle next to one another. Wait two minutes and receive two flux crystals. Charged quartz, nether, and redstone dust. I thought it was something like that. So, redstone dust, charged thingy me bib, nether quartz. Chuck them all into some water. One, two, and uh, three. Apparently, that. Oh, there! There! It worked! And the water wheel. I don't know why the water wheel got chucked in there as well, but I guess it's gonna. I guess it's gonna be okay. We've got the fluid crystal. Cool. I guess that's a thing. So if we go one and two with the plates, one with the crystal thingy, and then we need to figure out how to charge it. <laughs> I have no idea. Do we charge it in the machine outside? Tick. Hmm. In order for the blitz essence to form the entropy minister, it has to be charged. Ensure the charge and it's restored before next use. I don't know how you charge it. There's me casually just opening the front door with it as though it. I mean, honestly, never trust these things because you know, that time I played. Uh, the swamp one was Z, and it managed to, you know, blow up my house. Oh, okay, look, 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 right. Aha, aha. It is. Redstone flux. Of course it is. <sighs> right, hang on. So, I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> now that I've charged it. Does it blow up stuff? Oh, no, it sets stuff on fire. Right, cool. That's not, don't do that. Whoops. Okay, duly noted. That's a that's a fire stick, a fire doom. Right, don't don't do that. Cool. Cool. Okay. So into the hopper with some snowballs. Stand well back. Twist thingy. Make it go zap. Blitz cubes. Hey. Okay. Well, that was a lot less disasterful than I thought it would be. Awesome. Let's come over here. Disasterful is now a word. Mm -hmm. Tick that. Because this one here is doing the same one as this one here and they're not going to be used at the same time. So I think we're probably fine. And we still have charge on that, which is also cool. I tell you what, this was a lot easier than I thought it would be this side. I thought this side would be the difficult side. Actually, this was the side that was difficult to try and figure it out in the first place. So, Blitzmill. Just like earlier, the essence becomes usable only after a bit of refinement. So we do need to squishificate it through the wheels. Fine. Squishificating through wheels, my speciality. And we have more wheels. If I go in the right direction first, we do have more wheels. I've been making some more. We don't necessarily have enough of these guys, though. Unless we do this trick again, which seemed to work very well. How many wheels did we give this one down here? Let's have a quick look. I guess we only gave that one two. That sounds doable, right? Okay, fine, 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 fine. So if our end product now is here, the silicon compound. Wait, hang on, no, not that compound. Because we need to mix it with that after we've done this. Oh my word, so we need to squish it as well, again, and turn it into a nice charge. Right, fine. So it would come out of here and get squished somewhere. Probably here. Um, and we've got... So those are the items that are all coming into here. We've got the snowball thingy, which actually doesn't really matter where it goes or happens. Which we could technically... If we're going to hand bail it, we could technically just use this. Hang on a second. Let's just use that. Why make another one when you already have the one that you need? And if we were using that one to make the basalt thingy, whenever we need the basalt, we can just tell it to stop doing that as well. So we're just going to use that. Until we until we actually need to automate it, which, you know, may cause a problem in the future. Let's just use this. Beautiful. Is that it? Oh, wait, no. It's still processing. But hey, that worked. So we're kind of done half the chapter here because we're nicking stuff from previous machines. That may come to, to, to kick us in the bottom later. 
but it may not. We may actually be alright with it. <laughs> In here. Well and remembered. Thank you for the reminder. And this guy. Ooh. Which can make other stuff. Blitz powder from the thermal series. And gunpowder and some iron. Makes a glacial grenade. Freezes an area on impact. I wonder if it then unfreezes. Freezes a larger area. I feel like this one is cheaper than this one. But this one is only a small bit, and much four, and this one's a big bit. Huh? Right, compacting. So eight of those squish together to make an ice charge. So we just need to squishificate. And it doesn't particularly matter where we squishificate. So we could kind of just ask this one to do it, I suppose. So let's take that off. I just made the thingies, and actually we're just going to ask this thing to do it. <laughs> How about that? And it won't, it shouldn't pick that up because that's currently not working anyway. Okay, so it's exactly the same. Alright, fine. So compact enough powder back together to create a highly reactive ice charge. Job's a good one. Job is a good one. I wonder if I can, can you fling it? Oh! Well, that was unexpected. So a very, very expensive way to make ice. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm not going to do that again, because it, that seems like a very, very, very expensive way to make ice. <laughs> awesome. Alright, well that, since I don't want to do too much in one episode, otherwise I'll lose all of you and it will be impossible to edit. So I may call that that for now, because uh, that seems to be working rather well. I didn't expect that the left hand side of the... Um, the quest chain in chapter 4 would be somewhat similar or even the same to the right hand side of chapter 4 so actually we had all of this already because we'd done it over here so I uh, wasn't expected kind of a blessing because it does save on a lot of materials and stuff but it does mean that this episode has been a little bit faster than normal it's fine though it's all good so I'll get these edited up over the weekend and I'll get them posted so you'll get the first one on Saturday the second one on Monday as always um, and uh, yeah, you'll get me again on episode the next episode on Wednesday. And uh, in the meantime, I am considering quietly now, shh, on the hush, on the lowdown, on the lowdown, quietly considering bringing back Beavers and actually streaming it this time, not just recording it and putting a voiceover. So watch out for that. In the meantime, I hope you all have a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. If you're in the UK or anywhere else that is currently suffering from a drought and or heat wave, I hope you survive. Uh, and in the meantime, have a lovely time, and I shall see you soon. Thanks, and bye-bye.